Push a ton is in the building Powder to the motherfucking ceiling I'm so consistent every verse I prototype this coke flow Y'all just my children Don't get caught up in your feelings Because you just original fakes And I am the cause If you follow fashion Guys, you can what is good? Phone. Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know Got a pretty new sound for you folks today From the very classic and well-regarded House of Aqua de Parma This one is called Colonia Club Now this is my third Third review from the house. Uh, I also did Fico di Amalfi, which I love is a fruity warm weather scent. And I did Colonia Intensa Oud, which is a, for me a top 10 favorite fragrance of all time. And uh, and, and maybe my favorite Oud fragrance or, or one of a few. Uh, as far as what else I want from ADP, you know, I, I think right now I just want uh, Jeanette Pro de Sardinia, which is their um, juniper, juniper berry scent. Uh, I will take a look at some of the other blue line releases, but I'm fairly sure, you know, I don't need bottles of leather or Ambra from their Colonia Intensa collection. And while I have all the respect in the world for the original Aqua de Parma and, uh, and Ascense, um, I don't feel like I need a bottle of, of either right now. That might change, um, but when I saw this one coming out, I got like legit excited uh, with the note breakdown and the green bottle. Um, it just really excited me that it, it, Aqua de Parma was doing like a fougere fragrance. So I was excited even though it, it isn't actually a fougere. Um, now what happened was Bloomingdale's got this mad early uh, on their site. But it always said it won't ship from their warehouse for like two or three weeks. So I actually just waited a little while to see if Bloomingdale's got it, got it in store. And one day I was just walking to work and they had it. Um, and I smelled it and, and bought it on the spot. I liked it. Um, it comes in two sizes, 50 ml and 100 ml. Um, and there are accompanying grooming products for, for, for Colonia Club. Uh, the 50 ml of this, which is what I bought, is 100 bucks. And for $131, you can get the 100 ml. Both are only eau de cologne in concentration. As I said, I went with the 50 um the 50 ml as of filming this i think the only place in new york city that has this or available on the web in the united states is bloomingdale's i'm sure that will change soon because aqua de parma is obviously in a lot of doors um so if you like the brand if you're interested in the brand history of aqua de parma please do check out the video that i did on figo di amalfi so 2015 release here uh notes on it are bergamot lemon pedigrain mandarin mint and neroli at the top geranium lavender and galvanum in the middle ambergris musk and vetiver in the base so as far as your presentation goes uh you got that green hunter green um uh tube which has aqua de parma on the back it's got your bloomingdale sticker on the bottom proves that didn't steal it in the middle you had in the, in the tube you have a little booklet on the fragrance as far as your actual bottle goes it's uh, this is the smallest adp bottle i have the 50 ml uh, it's dark green it sort of has a reflective sticker which has aqua de parma colonia club sticker on the bottom letting you know it is eau de cologne made in italy with a batch code uh, top is plastic and the atomizer just beasts guys uh, you get a lot of juice out of this one it's very um you know it's just very uh it's sort of tight and it uh it, it sprays really well pause so let me tell you guys this um i walked out of bloomingdale's into work with this one and everyone in my office that i let smell this loved it and that's never happened before uh the opening is just really beautiful and this one for me at least comes right out of the bottle smelling almost exactly like the original polo green fragrance that lasts for five minutes or so you get that green very classy and fresh blast of galbanum and that's where the comparison ends and it starts to become more about polo sport this to me is almost a combination of polo and polo sport because polo green gets very spicy and piney and green gets very citrusy um, watery a little bit and it really becomes for me at least about the orange mint geranium and lavender it's not quite barbershop shop like because it doesn't have a powderiness um it's a really weird scent because it's like part green fougere, 
and, and part like eau de cologne and a little bit of like a barber shop uh, lavender uh, fragrance. So like part eau de cologne with the citrus and mint. Uh, it's cooling, it's light. The mint is almost more menthol crystals than like sprigs of mint you might get in Geranium Pour Monsieur by Frederick Maul or uh, Moth Fresh by, by, by James Healy. But it, it's still very dignified. Um, I feel like this is 80p stab at an upscale sport fragrance because in the ad copy there's all these dudes rolling around riding horses and um, I don't want to say they're trying to do like a polo style fragrance but it seems like they were trying to do a polo style fragrance. As it dries down it, 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 it goes back to its green roots and the vetiver, the Haitian vetiver perks up uh, with the musk and the, and the ambergris. So really think half polo green and half polo sport with the sort of aquatic eau de cologne vibe. It's really like a combination um, fougere uh, eau de cologne. That's really the way I would describe it. I know that's that's a really tricky description, but it's sort of a, a really different scent from, from what else is out there. Uh, performance on this one for me was really good. Really good for an eau de cologne. Uh, I, I've got eight hours out of, out of each wear, uh, and it projects nicely. It's not going to give you good sillage, but you'll get a, a decent scent bubble. Um, I think it's made for, for men, but wear what you want whoever you are and you could wear this in any season I think ideally this was a fragrance made for springtime but you could definitely do this in the summer uh, or fall or winter it's really up to you and anywhere uh, you can you can wear this it's just gonna give you that clean green sporty vibe and if you like that then then this will this will be really great office scent a uh, sports scent or just a casual casual day scent um, if you're not able to get this or want something similar you know it really is a mix of polo polo green and polo sport that's the best way i can put it but for sort of that classy upscale eau de cologne there's so many options you know um you could just go with aqua de parma the original aqua de parma uh aqua de chima of course by eau de italy zerjoff 1861 by zerjoff neroli portofino by tom ford um original cologne by um by Creed, nor really Sauvage by Creed, the options just don't stop. If someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this, I think they would tell you that it smells great, it's at a good price point, it's got Aqua de Parma quality, and it's a newer take on what is sort of a classic scent profile. On the flip side, I think a detractor would say, it might smell a little synthetic to some people. Uh, it sort of fools you at first, because you think you're gonna get this green, albinum fragrance and it very quickly flips into an almost aquatic eau de cologne um so some people might not like that i would actually give this one a little bit of time before you decide to pull the trigger on a bottle um i definitely would have still bought this if i had given the green time to to disappear and to and morph into what it does morph into uh so that's that's fact uh, so I'm going to give this Colony Club an 8 out of 10. Uh, I, I don't love the ADP presentation personally on their lower uh, lower price stuff. And in this one, I really would have liked the Galbanum blasted up. And I would have liked the, the menthol and citrus dialed down. But I think this one's going to be really popular and, and sell well. And uh, I, I like what Aqua de Parma is doing. You know, they have this upscale collection where they've done ambergris and leather and oud. And they have their blue line where they're kind of making refreshing uh, summer scents. And then they have their bread and butter, which is their Colonia uh, line and its flankers. And I guess this is a flanker uh, of Colonia. So I think LVMH... Uh, has done has done a really good job with ADP. They're they're retaining the older fans that were the original, and they're going after the, the younger generation with the blue line, and they're also going after the serious frag uh, fragrance fan with the higher end line. 
Uh, this release is a little weird because it's kind of outside those silos, but um, I think this one's gonna resonate and I think a lot of dudes who love designer fragrances are gonna be intrigued by this one because it's very appealing and it, it smells good. And ultimately that's what people are looking for when, when picking up a fragrance. So um, this one, this one's very, very, very interesting and I like it. Uh, if you have any questions on it, you guys know I'm, I'm more than happy to answer. You can leave a comment, you can email me at maximno at gmail.com and you guys know what it is. Uh, my name is Maximilian. I must know. I'll be back next week with more videos. Getting the old nine dag. Look what the cat dragged in. My past no good. My present still shameful. The fact I'm in the snow should show that I'm no angel. By far my baddest bitch was Anglo. Better in